Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is a highly requested one, guys. I've gotten a lot of questions about this at the boat ramp uh, from Instagram and TikTok, so I just figured I'd do it all in one video, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about the Caravan, guys. It's a 2018 jet ski trailer that I have converted into a kayak trailer for the Old Town Autopilot 120. Now, you guys know that I used to haul this bad boy on my roof, guys. This kayak is not light at all, and I put a lot of damage to my uh, roof and to my body trying to take this bad boy on and off the roof. During the summertime, it was just extremely hard uh, taking it on and off, and in the winter, it was even harder when your hands are frozen, guys. So getting on and off the water as much as I fish is extremely important, and I'm just so blessed to have this kayak trailer. Now, let's talk a little bit about it, guys. We'll talk about the kayak later on, but I cannot believe how well this bad boy fits on here, guys. So it's a 2018, guys. It's been on the market for a while, but it is extremely, extremely durable. Some of the really cool parts that I like about this trailer is the fact that it fits my car perfectly, guys. So we're gonna have some video uh, a little bit later of us driving around with it. It makes little to no noise, and it just hauls perfectly. We've taken this all the way to Michigan uh, with no issues, even with the uh, uh, Big Water PDL 132 on it. So just blessed to have this kayak trailer and it's completely changed the game for me, guys. So there is some customizations that I made to this kayak just to fit the Old Town Autopilot 120, but not many at all. The first thing I did was I moved this bad boy up as far as I could, guys. So I had to move, I don't know what you would call this, like the roller up a little bit further, and then I moved, um, what, I don't even know what this thing is called either. I guess you would say like the bumper. I had to move this up a little bit closer. Now, the only issue that I did really have with it as well is this was not the original one. I did not buy this one new. It's going to be around $2,300 if you want to buy it new, but I got it used for $1,000, guys. I got really lucky, and as soon as I bought it, I just knew that I got a steal, guys. You could see and look at it and just tell that it was a perfect fit. Now, again, this was not the original, um, I'd say cranker. Sorry, I'm not really familiar with the terms on this, but this is not the original one that came with it. So it is a little janky, and that's going to be one of the things that I'm going to have to upgrade on it. But once I moved it forward, it seems that the autopilot it fits on there perfectly guys another thing that i changed on this kayak uh trailer or jet ski trailer was retractable um ratchet straps guys so all i have to do is connect that bad boy to this side clip it on and ratchet it down once or twice and it's going to be sturdy guys i have no issues with it i've never had it swivel around on me and even when i had it completely loose i had no issues guys so i put two sets of those on Right here, again, all you do is lift that up, come to this side, clamp it down, ratchet that bad boy a couple times, and I kid you not, it's like the sturdiest thing, look. <laughs> not gonna move at all. So once I did that, I knew that I was in the money. Uh, that was just the first thing that I knew I had to add to it because you can't just ride around with it with that um, hook on the front, right? So. That was the big addition. Uh, the hardest part was drilling into this. It is made out of steel, so we had to get the right drill bits, uh, the right amount of pressure, and we did drill through it. Now, an issue that I did have is I think I hit one of those wires when I was going through uh, the trailer because the wiring does go through the trailer. So, Eli, if you wanna look on the inside of this uh, kayak trailer, or sorry, jet ski trailer, I, I keep calling it kayak trailer, but I converted it, right? If you wanna take a look on the inside of it, you see that there's no wiring on the inside, just like those other old school uh, jet ski trailers have. So it's all internal. Uh, you don't have any issues of you know snagging it with your hands or anything like that. It's really durable stuff, guys, and I'm just blessed to have it. So let me just show you where all that wiring goes. This is where it's gonna start at. This plugs right into my car. Um, I have a Volkswagen 2013 Tiguan, and I had to take it to U-Haul to actually get the wiring done correctly because I tried to do it myself and uh, it, it wasn't it guys. So luckily all the lights started working before we went to Michigan. But other than that, I've had just one problem, which was I think from you know drilling those holes and not seeing where I was getting those wires at. Uh, the one issue I do have is when I put the kayak submerged in water, I feel like one of the wires that I knit gets wet and then my lights kind of just twitch. So uh, the only issue I have is that I might have to redo my wiring and then I'll be able to submerge the kayak completely into the water. But Honestly, as of now, I don't have to put that thing into the water. I just get it really close and then I push my kayak off. So again, I'm truly blessed to be able to do this because like I said, I was taking it off the roof every time and I had to be a little bit further from the water, you know, sliding it down from the roof. Sometimes it'd fall on the ground uh, and things like that. So it was just, you know, really tedious. And honestly, uh, it really took a lot of energy out of me. So blessed to have that. Um, so 
The wiring, again, you can see that it goes through the kayak if you want to look on this side real quick. So one thing you want to see is that the wiring does go through the entire kayak, so, or through the entire trailer. Super cool. Again, you're not going to be able to, you know, mess with it or mess it up. So I love that part. Uh, again, this is exactly where I would connect this bad boy. So I just bought these from Home Depot, drilled a mean hole straight down, connected that right there, tightened it down, and now I can easily um, take on and off those retractable straps. I love to take those off at the end of the day because uh, there's no need to have this kayak in the garage all day with pressure on it. So make sure when you do do this, guys, that you make sure that you take off those straps because, again, there's no need to have all that weight and pressure down. Uh, ratchet it down when you're not moving around guys. So let's go towards the back uh, We're gonna show you guys the lights a little bit later on there, but uh, they have these really cool LED lights I really do love that this kayak uh, <laughs> Jet ski trailer was from 2018 because it's pretty, you know, I'd say high-tech guys It's not old again Those wires aren't running on the outsides of it and these lights are so bright that you can see them extremely well during the day so Blessed to not have that issue, but again, when I do submerge it in water, I've had it kind of tweak out on me. Then I let it dry out in that Texas heat and I have no issues. So love that. Um, and that's pretty much the trailer, guys. So we're gonna take the kayak off the trailer just to kind of show you guys. Um, oh wait, I did forget another addition that I made to the kayak. Sorry, you, I got you running laps around this bad boy. But um, here's another addition that I made to it. I saw other people um, with, uh, I think it's called Innovative Watercrafts or something like that. Those guys make really cool kayak trailers and honestly they were like my motivation to get a kayak trailer. Now there's another guy that I'm going to leave down below. I want to give a big big shout out to uh, Kayak USA. You're freaking awesome man and I love your content. I actually told him on Instagram that he should make a TV show because he's one of those guys that just make that content that you just want to keep watching especially when it's something that you like. He has that kind of vibe of you know those guys that work on cars in the shop and all his like stuff is extremely neat but that's his stuff is in the kayak uh, world so go check him out he's really smart man when it comes to building these kayak trailers he makes custom uh, custom ones and the information that he gives out is just solid I've taken a lot of his um, advice just like adding those retractable straps adding this extra wheel and we're also gonna customize this with one more uh, addition that I'm super excited about that I got from you bud so kayak USA check him down below I've gotten a lot of ideas from him I'm gonna put a lot more work into this kayak trailer but it's so pr it's pretty pricey for me right now so another thing that I uh, the last thing that I did add to this was uh, a third wheel guys so we were going to Michigan that was about how many miles Eli 1200 miles mm -hmm. And I, I didn't want anything to go wrong. So when we're doing these trips, things are bound to go wrong, which they did during the trip, right? We lost thousands of dollars worth of uh, gear. We'll talk about that in another video. But um, that was just something that I wanted to avoid. So I did purchase uh, something that holds this. It was a little pricey. I'm not going to lie. It was like 160 you know, just for like the little metal that goes on here. All you do is screw in the four bolts on that side and it goes on really nice and neat. I've never had it shipped on me or anything like that. Really easy to install, but not gonna lie, it's pretty pricey. So um, it looks great and it's a great way to store the uh, third wheel. So that was really a cool addition. So we talked about the straps. We talked about the little bit of a light issue. I did have to add a license plate holder to it. But as you see, we just used the same two holes that are right here. This was about a $15 purchase and um, I ended up adding a license plate on it. So I don't have my license plate on it right now. This is the one I found from Broken Bow. <laughs> Isn't that cool guys? I think that's really sweet. I haven't gotten pulled over for it yet, but I do have this trailer registered and insured. So uh, if they do pull me over, I'll just show them the other license plate and then just let them know that, hey guys, I was just trying to be cool. Like I just want people to know that I'm cool. <laughs> so that's that, uh, really cool fenders. Um, I think that's another cool part, plastic fenders, but all in all, it's extremely durable kayak. So let's talk about our extremely durable jet ski trailer. So let's talk about another thing that I really like about it is the fact that it's not heavy guys look at this look at this no issue at all bro after those long days no more taking that thing off the roof oh my gosh i can't tell you how many days i've spent you know cussing out myself like what am i doing this is ridiculous like oh my gosh it's so hot out the bite sucked all those things and when you add on you know the pressure of the heat and the weight of this kayak trying to take it on and off the roof it just amplifies everything else and it, it would ruin some of my days guys but um, that's another thing that i'm super excited about is just how easy i can move this around my garage if I can move it straight to my uh, to my 
what's it called, car with no issue by myself and I really didn't need help. So love that. What else should we talk about, Eli? What else? Oh yeah, we're gonna take this off the uh, trailer and show you what I did to make this um, ready for the Old Town Autopilot 120. So let me just show you another thing that I adjusted. You're probably wondering, how in the world do you fit this on there so nice and neat? Let me show you. Me and Eli are gonna take this bad boy off and we'll, we'll show you. All right guys, so before we get back into the video, I wanna talk about Fat Tire real quick. Now these guys have completely changed the game for me as well. Uh, they supported this channel for a long time, also Under Armour Shields in Old Town, and just blessed to be working with such a humble company that gives back to the outdoor industry. And one thing that I wanted to talk about was they sent me some really special beers. So this beer is called Legion. It's a Fat Tire Golden Ale. It's brewed with lemon peel and sea salt. So let me just talk about it a little bit. Uh, it's, let, me, let me read this card to you. It says, We're brewed, we brewed this beer to celebrate one of the winningest teams uh, in professional road racing and support their work paving a more diverse and equitable future for the cycling community. Infused with lemon peel and sea salt for post-ride consumption, uh, proceeds from the crisp golden ale go straight to the uh, Grow Cycle Foundation, an organization, an organization uh, fighting for diverse representation and true equity in cycling. Whether you enjoy uh, one after a long ride or just after a long day, we hope you share this moment with us. So super cool, thank you Fat Tire, and it's a really, really cool design, guys. I, I'm all about diversity. When I got into the outdoor industry, I was a little bit skeptical about posting it, because I was like, man, this is not a black thing, guys. This is not things that, you know, my guys grew up doing or my boys grew up doing, so it was, I was kind of skeptical about it, but the fishing industry took me in with open arms, guys, and I never looked back. So super blessed, and the same thing with Fat Tire. They're a really diverse company, and it's really cool to to, um, have a company that you know is so invested in giving back so let's taste this real quick and see what it tastes like golly bro wow that is super good bro so good bro I can't stop drinking it but all right let's finish this video up guys so the only thing that I really had to adjust right off the rip was you know, moving this forward to be able to compensate for the length of the Old Town Autopilot, which is 136 inches, right? That's 130, wait, 120 inches, right? Um, so that was one thing that I had to change. So I moved that forward so that the bow will fit on there. And I also moved these way closer together. So this was um, adjusted for a jet ski. So you gotta imagine, obviously it's gonna be way wider. So at the bottom of the Old Town Autopilot, it kind of has these slits and the kayak fits in there so perfect that you can't rock it left or right. So the closer you move these, the tighter it's gonna be, and it, it just allows it to be you know, nice and neat. So I love that it's not too low to the ground or it's not too high off of it. Now I do wish it was just a little bit higher so when I'm driving in the Volkswagen, I can see behind it, but I think that our adjustment today is gonna help fix that, guys. So that's gonna be the kayak trailer, man. Golly, that's gonna be the jet ski trailer. Um, I absolutely love this thing and I had a lot of questions about it so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching this video all the way through. Now let's add what we're going to add to this bad boy that's going to completely change the look of this kayak. I'm super excited about it and let's just hop into that. Yo, the last upgrade are going to be new tires for the kayak guys. Now this kayak trailer looks sexy how it is. But those rims look a little, you know, outdated, bro. For 2018, we got to put some, you know, modern twist on it, guys. So this is going to raise the kayak just a couple more inches so I can get that clearance from when I'm driving. I'm looking back in the rearview mirror, and I can see the kayak just a little bit better, guys. So Rex Stuff hooked it up, guys. If you want to check them out, I'm going to leave the link down below. And if you want to use the code POMBOYS to get 10% off, use that, guys. It's $100 off of these tires, guys. So... I would definitely use that if I needed it, and I'm glad that I you know, just have the ability to get sponsored by them, but at the end of the day, I still would have purchased this on my own, guys. So, Rex Stuff, you guys are awesome. Use that code POMBOY down below and get you 10% off. So, let's put these bad boys on and see how it looks and see how it rides. Y'all know where we're at, bro. We're in Texas, so. The garage is a little hotter. We have a small AC unit in here, but golly, it's hot. But this beer is cooling it down, man. Let's put that other tire on, put the third wheel on, and see how this bad boy looks. It's already looking sexy. Super excited and just blessed, man. Just blessed. Sweating 
like a, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say, man. I don't know what's good for YouTube, but boy, it's hot out here. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It looks so, so sexy, guys. Unbelievable wreck stuff. Thank you so much, Kayak USA. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even have known about this company. But guys, use that code down below. I'm telling you 10% off and it'll save you at least a hundred bucks on one of these wheels, guys. So unbelievable. Glad it looks so sexy. Adds a couple more inches to the height. Gives me a little bit more, you know, I wouldn't say clearance, but it just gives me a little bit more of a visual of the kayak when it's behind the Volkswagen Tiguan. And let's get on the road. Let's get an aerial view for you guys. See how this bad boy rolls. That is it for the jet ski trailer, guys. Converted that jet ski trailer to a kayak trailer within minutes and just unbelievable, guys. This has completely changed the game for me. No more on the roof. We've already traveled thousands of miles with this bad boy on the back with no issue. Even saves me on gas mileage. Not even gonna lie, because when it's on the roof, you have a lot more wind resistance and things like that. With it on the back of the car, the pull is great. Sometimes I don't even notice that it's there and I just love it, guys. So let's get it on the road, get some aerial views for you guys, and that's gonna be the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the conversion. What would you do? What would you do differently? All right, we're gonna do some more upgrades to this bad boy, but that's it. Love y'all, peace out, like and subscribe, do all that cool stuff, we're gone. It's a double-digit bass.